Good morning, everyone. Well, the theme of the day is dovish central banks. Well, the market's focused recently on the debate about the Fed tapering off from quantitative easing. The opposite debate at the European Central Bank broke out uh, into view yesterday. First, former ECB board member Bini Smaghi said that uh, the ECB should find ways to depreciate the euro. Then Jens Weidmann, uh, the president of the Bundesbank, was quoted in the Wall Street Journal as saying that, quote, Overcoming the crisis and the crisis's effects will remain a challenge over the next decade. Decade. This is a sharp contrast with optimistic comments from various EU officials that the worst of the European crisis is already over. Weidman also hinted that the ECB could, could ease further if warranted by the data. Uh, German shares fell sharply on the rumor, which turned out to be true, that the country would be downgraded. Uh, this is all Euro negative news. Uh, but the ECB wasn't the only central bank to issue a warning yesterday. Uh, both Sweden and Canada reduced their inflation expectations, though only Sweden ex specifically pushed out the time when it expects to start tightening. Uh, the Swedish kroner was hammered as a result, while the Canadian dollar lost only modestly. But with oil slumping further, it's likely that we'll see the loonie losing more ground in the future. Uh, we'll probably need to see more confidence in the strength of the U.S. economy before that trend changes. Uh, Dollar Canada's up move yesterday found strong resistance around 102.75, which concentrates a 40-month-old, well-tested, downward-sloping trendline resistance level. The upper Bollinger Band and the 23.6% retracement level of the 2009 to 2011 primary down move. A breakout from that level may see Dollar Canada move substantially higher especially once the recent high of 103.40 gets cleared. Fibonacci support comes in at 102.17, with stronger support around 101.81, which uh, is the 50-day moving average. This is Marshall Gittler, head of Global FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.